a blessed day to each and everyone again my name is Sherry April and welcome to third grading and this is module number one for today we're going to talk about how are we going to prepare and cook seafood dishes so this will be our learning targets first I can identify types varieties market forms nutritive value and composition of fish and seafood next i can perform steps in processing fish and i can observe safety and hygienic procedures and practices in performing misa and blast let's talk about how to prepare and cook seafood dishes when we talk about seafood this is any form of sea life wherein we can find this in the ocean, regarded as a food by us humans. It be, can be classified into two. Number one, we have the fish. And number two, we have the shellfish. When we talk about shellfish, this we're going to include varieties of species of mollusks. These are the mollusks. We also have crustaceans, okay? And we have the echinoderms. The echinoderms are not being known here in the Philippines, but in other countries like Japan, they are eating such kind of species. There are so many methods for cooking seafood. Most of them are very fast and easy and making them the perfect choice for a quick and healthy meal. Seafoods can be classified into two. First, we have the fin fish. When we talk about fin fish, they have, of course, fins and they have internal skeletons. Number two, we have the shellfish. Shellfish has external shells by the word itself, shell, but they don't have any internal bone structure. They have outer shells. So external shells and they also have outer shells. Let's talk about fin fish first. First, we have saltwater fish. When we talk about saltwater fish, they are also called marine fish. And of course, they are fish that live in ocean water. The first category is we have the flatfish. Flatfish typically on the seabed and are colored to resemble eat. So whatever is the color of the seabed, that will be the color of the fish. How does it look like? Let's talk about the flounder. They are called flowery flounder because it is covered by superficially flower like bluish spots. As you can see, their home is similar with the spots that they have. Then we have the sole, which are the species of marine flatfish widely found around the coast of Europe. Basically, saltwater fish are fish that we can consider it as flat fish. So we have this flat fish and we have this another flounder fish which is also flat and the sole fish is also flat. Let's take a look on the fin fish. First we have fin fish are round fish. If we're going to take a look on the first one, we can say that the structure of these fishes are flat. So look at them, they are flat. But if we're going to take a look on the fin fish, they are round. So look at their structure. Okay, it's round. Let's talk about black sea bass. They are, of course, they're black in color and they are found in the Western Atlantic Ocean where it is an important species for commercial and recreational fisheries. Recreational, that means they can put it in an aquarium. Bluefish, they are found around the world in temperate and subtropical water except for Northern Pacific Ocean. But they have a bluish color, as you can see here, but they are not blue at all in color. The cod, common name for the Mersel fish genus, gadus belonging to the family of 
Ducati Day. Then we have the grouper. They are, this one is the Telost. They typically having a stout body and a large mouth. Look at the mouth. So fin fish, they have a round fish. And when we talk about the other one, which are, which are the fin, the another classification, the salt water fish, they are flat. And the round fish, the structure is round in shape. For the shellfish, Molluscs are soft sea animal. When we talk about soft, it can be classified into number one. This is the bivalves. They have a pair of hinged shells. So for example, we have this clam shell. We have this oyster. In Filipino, we have the tahong. And we have clams. We have the snails. We have squid. We have octopus. We have scallops, we have oysters. So it means that they always have a pair. So this one is being referred to another. We also have the cephalophods. An example of these are the octopus. We can see this one in the wet market, and this is a cook one. Then we also have the univalves. So they have a single shell. Usually this abalone, we can find this in some of the Korean dramas wherein they are eating abalone. Crustaceans. They're animals with segmented shells and joint legs. So these are the shells, outer, outer shell, and these are their legs. It is being joined by the shell and by the legs. Example are the shrimp, and we have the crab. So these are the legs. There's a legs and there is other are shells. We call this as crustaceans. For the parts of a fish, fish has water, it has protein, it has fats, and they have small amounts of minerals and vitamins as well. Did you know that fish has health benefits? Of course, they have protein, 60%, fat, 10%, and 9% of calories. That means if they have 9% of calories, it can aid in weight loss. It has also vitamins like B12, which is 181%, niacin 53%, vitamin A 50%, which helps strengthen cell membrane. Of course, if they have vitamins, they also have a minerals, which has selenium 67%, phosphorus 33%, magnesium 16%. This, in return, we're going to protect skin and kidneys against infection, and there's also one that will going to boost the immune system. So they're going to reduce the risk of depression, development, promotes development of muscles. Blood pressure will going to be reduced as well. And it improves in the circulation of the blood and helps prevent inflammatory disease. So fish are very healthy. There are fishes that have a very little connective tissue, which means they are quickly to be cooked at a low temperature, very tender. And the moistened methods are used not to create tenderness, but to preserve moistness and provide variety. They also should be handled carefully because since they are very tender, they can be easily broken apart. Fat fish, these are fish that are rich in fat. We have the salmon, tuna, trout, and mackerel. For lean fish, we have the sole. This is very good in protein, rich in protein. We have the cod, the red snapper, and we have the bass. Let's take a look on the last part, which is which are the parts of the fish. First, we have the first dorsal fin. So this is one. These are the this is the shiny portion of the fish. We have the op Perculum on this portion. We also have the eye. Look at this eye. And we have the nares. The nares, this is the nostril of the fish. We also have the mouth, the 
branchotiscal rays in this one. We have the pectoral fin, the pelvic fin, the vent, the anal fin, the peduncle on this side, the caudal fin, which is on the last part. These are the lateral line that we can see both and the second dorsal fin which are flexible rate replacement so these are the parts of the fish let's take remember and take note that fish has a lot of healthy benefits and they are easy to cook with like these are my references for today's discussion and please don't forget to like my channel and hit the notifications button for some updates. See you again next time and bye!